Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Golden State Warriors make huge statement on Lori Markkinen pursuit. Lori Markkinen may not be among the NBA stars making waves in the Olympics, but he's still making headlines for his play. It's been long known that the Golden State Warriors are heavily interested in acquiring his services from the Utah Jazz. However, both teams are finding it difficult to package a satisfactory deal that lets the Jazz send their franchise centerpiece to the dubs without compromising their rebuild timeline. Moreover, rumors of a potential one-to-two partnership with Brandon Ingram may have completely dashed the Warriors' hopes of getting him. An NBA insider revealed that Golden State is far from done with their chase. He stated that the Dubs are doing everything within their power to get the trade through without losing their key contributors. Respected NBA insider Mark Steiner revealed that the Warriors are still interested in getting Markkanen in their roster without sending any of their top young prospects the other way. Per Clutch Points Ideal Estudillo, Prominent NBA insider Mark Steiner reported that the Warriors are still pursuing Markkanen without offering Podziemski or Jonathan Kuminga. Obviously, this won't pique the interest of Jazz CEO of Basketball Operations, Danny Ainge. But given the recent turn of events, it seems like trading their star forward away won't be an issue any longer. In the same article, Stein also revealed that the Jazz sent coaches to Markkanen's home in Finland to help him get in better shape ahead of the 2024-25 campaign. The Jazz wouldn't be making such a move if they were seriously considering the possibility of sending Markkanen to the Bay Area. It's understandable why the Golden State Warriors want to bag Markkanen. The finisher averaged 23.2 PPG, 8.2 RPG, and 2.0 APG last season, despite only playing 55 games due to injury. Should the Warriors manage to get him without sacrificing either Podziemski or Kuminga, the Dubs will be one of the most terrifying teams to face next season. Draymond Green issues powerful Anthony Edwards declaration for Team USA. Among all the young guys playing for Team USA right now, Minnesota Timberwolves' Anthony Edwards has offered the most promise for the future. Golden State Warriors' Draymond Green has taken this perspective and declared the shooting guard ready to lead the national team in the Olympics soon. Edwards, the rising young star of the NBA, has emerged as the face of the 2024 USA basketball men's national team. Despite being surrounded by a star-studded roster featuring legends like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and Kevin Durant, he has asserted his dominance, leading the team in scoring and showcasing his relentless confidence. Edwards' ascent began well before the Olympics, as he averaged 25.9 points and 5.1 assists during the previous NBA season, elevating his game in the playoffs. His commanding performances, including a 26-point outing against Puerto Rico, have solidified his status as the team's primary offensive threat, outperforming even the all-time greats on the roster. The 23-year-old's unwavering belief in his abilities has set him apart, as he openly declared himself the number one option on the team, defying the deference often expected from up-and-coming players. This bold approach has only further cemented his position as the face of the national team, generating a buzz and capturing the attention of fans and media alike. As the 2024 Olympics unfold, Edwards' continued dominance and leadership could usher in a new era, with the young phenom poised to become the next face of not just Team USA, but the entire NBA. Even though he has only played four years in the NBA, Edwards has established himself as one of the league's brightest stars. Among those who believed in him, particularly his potential to lead Team USA, is Green, as seen in a video shared by The Volume on X. Last season was considered the best of Anthony's career, especially with averages of 25.9 points, 5.4 rebounds, 5.1 assists, and 1.3 steals per game. He was also instrumental in leading Minnesota to its best record in decades and a Western Conference Finals appearance against Luka Doncic's Dallas Mavericks. It remains to be seen how Edwards will answer his country's call for the remainder of the Olympics. In any case, 
expect a lot of fans to keep an eye on him as Team USA is fighting their way to win the gold in Paris. Warriors can seek trade for $158 million All-Star if Markkanen pursuit fails. The Golden State Warriors haven't spent much of the last decade forced to choose between two less-than-ideal options, but time eventually lays low all dynasties and the dubs are doing what they can to fight it off for a couple more seasons. Stephen Curry will play next year at 36, and while he has a game built on shooting and skill that should age better than most, the Warriors' championship window with Curry as their best player probably won't remain open for long, assuming it isn't shut already. That realization has led to meaningful change in the Bay Area already this summer, including the departure of four-time champion Clay Thompson as well as the additions of DeAnthony Melton, Buddy Heald and Kyle Anderson to what is now among the deepest rosters in the NBA. But that roster likely isn't top-heavy enough with star talent to compete against the likes of the Oklahoma City Thunder, Denver Nuggets, and a handful of other potent Western Conference opponents. Enter Lori Markkinen and the Utah Jazz. Golden State has been engaged with Utah for weeks in trade talks for Markkinen, but those discussions have stalled since mid-July. Markkinen, a seven-foot stretch big with all-star offensive chops, doesn't fit perfectly with the Warriors. However, he is the best player-slash-fit currently on the market to put alongside Curry, bump Draymond Green to center, and create a new version of the Warriors' once-feared death lineup. If the dubs can't land Markkanen, though, another less-than-perfect option to whom the Warriors might turn is former All-Star Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans, who is on the precipice of the final season of his $158 million contract. Zach Buckley of Bleacher Report on Friday, August 2, compiled a list of five players he predicts will land with new teams ahead of the 2024-25 trade deadline on February 6 of next year. Ingram is a tricky trade candidate because he needs a new contract by next season and has arguments for demanding a huge one, Buckley wrote. He is clearly worth a sizable investment, but he's not a clear-cut candidate for a maximum contract, for years, $207.8 million on an extension now or five years and $269.1 million next summer. He also might be worth more to other teams than he is to New Orleans, since he isn't the high-volume shooter or shutdown stopper the Pelicans would prefer to have alongside Zion Williamson. One problem in any trade for Ingram will be finding a suitor that makes sense where that kind of investment is concerned. The next two NBA drafts are loaded with talent, so any team hovering near the bottom of the league or somewhere in the middle with only moderate prospects of getting meaningfully better is a bad match. Several teams with ostensibly enough talent to compete for a championship, such as the Boston Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers, Minnesota Timberwolves, and Dallas Mavericks, are already well into, or nearing, the luxury tax due to their expensive rosters and or don't need a player like Ingram to move the needle, even if they can afford him. That leaves squads like the Warriors or the Los Angeles Lakers, led by aging but still capable stars, who are trying to jump from contenders for playoff seeds in the numbers 4-8 to eight range to contenders for a title. Ingram doesn't fit seamlessly alongside Curry in the Warriors' motion-heavy offense. He doesn't shoot a high volume of three-pointers, 36.2% on 3.7 attempts per game for his eight-year career, and he can be a ball stopper at times. Ingram is at his best with the basketball in his hands, working in the mid-range, which isn't an ideal offensive scenario in the dub system. That said, Ingram is a proven threat to make tough jump shots over quality defenders down the stretch of close games, including some evidence from past playoffs, which is the type of offense every team eventually needs at one point or another to achieve deep postseason runs. For his career, Ingram averages 19.4 points per game, PPG, though he has been between 20.8 to 24.7 PPG in each of the past five campaigns stretching back to his sole All-Star appearance in 2019-20. His offensive prowess and the Warriors' clear need for more star talent has led some NBA insiders to openly support a Golden State pursuit of Ingram. This is a young man that has proven that he can go out there and average 25 a night. 
he's a bucket getter, ESPN analyst and former professional player, Kendrick Perkins said on NBA Today on July 17. He plays the most important position, the wing, in the game. And putting him alongside Steph Curry and Draymond Green would actually put the Warriors back in the thick of things in the Western Conference. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ingram? Leave your opinion in the comments.